Let's not compare. This art video is all about why we do and why we shouldn't be comparing our own artwork to that of others. Hi, my name is Pietro and today in the Artifix 23 studio, I am joined by a very talented young artist, Christine. Welcome and thanks for being here. <laughs> Thank you for having me. It's such a pleasure being here. I asked Christine to join me in a collaboration to show the difference between artists and why we shouldn't be comparing ourselves to each other. Especially because we have such different art styles. Like mine is comic book style. I like the American comic book style with the bold black lines around it. And where she has more of a realistic, where she focuses more on the details. So Christine, tell us your thoughts on comparison and how did it affect your growth as an artist? Well, first things first, I think comparison is something that a lot of artists struggle, especially beginners, because it's so easy to look at someone else's painting and think, wow, I want to do that. And then you try it and then it doesn't work. And a lot of artists, I think, also gets discouraged by it. So Definitely. comparison is something that I feel that kills a lot of creativity and that you should avoid at all costs. Um, I've personally experienced this, especially when I started doing uh, started posting my art on Instagram as well. I would see all these amazing artists and I would think I would just can't be that level. <laughs> You'll never get there. Yeah, mm -hmm. so yes. it's something I definitely struggled with, but over time I realized that I cannot compare myself to other artists just for the fact that I am not them. I have different preferences in my style and I also like different mediums. So it, you can't compare yourself to other artists because of those reasons. What did you enjoy the most and what did you find the most challenging? I think what I enjoyed the most was working alongside you, seeing the different workflows as well, the different steps we take. Even though we had the exact same medium and time, it was really interesting. I enjoyed that. Uh, the most challenging though is even though this video is about <laughs> comparison, I felt like sitting next to you, I kept wanting to look over and to see what you were doing. It was tempting, but um, also, yeah. Yeah, I felt exactly the same. Um, it was so difficult to sit right next to another artist doing exactly the same thing and um, thinking, gosh, why didn't I think of that? I wish I, wish I had thought of that. Oh, my goodness. Um, so, yeah, that was also a challenge for me. Yeah, no. Yes, definitely. But it was really interesting. It was interesting. fun to work alongside. A lot of fun. So for this collaboration, we used the same reference picture. Um, we chose an art medium we are both um, comfortable with. And also um, we did it in the same amount of time, just to level out the playing field. Yes, and it was also interesting to see, even though we had the exact same mediums and the exact same time, how different each painting came out to be. So. It's really fun and interesting. Yes. So um, next, we are going to jump right into the video and um, we'll show you what we did. We actually filmed it um, sitting right next to each other. So um, we hope you enjoy it. And remember, comparison kills creativity. While you watch us paint this beautiful red dragonfly in the background, I just want to talk a bit more about comparison. It's hard at first to stop comparing your creations to that of others. Maybe you're just starting out on your art journey and you haven't found your preferred art medium or art style yet. You compare your art to that of your peers, your art tutor or a popular artist on social media. All this comparison will eventually have a negative impact and you will lose your confidence and interest long before you really gave yourself a chance to learn, practice and grow as an artist in your own right. Comparing is a waste of our precious time. While the artists we admire are busy creating more art, I want to encourage you not to compare. You are unique already because you're a creative being with an artistic mindset. The artists you admire have their own stories, a journey of passion, 
long hours of practice, sacrifice and perseverance. For instance, say an artist like Frida Kahlo, whose artwork is unique and different. She didn't have a Frida to look to for comparison. She just painted, not caring what others thought of her art. So, if art is your passion, don't waste time comparing or waiting for inspiration to strike. Stay focused on your own journey and draw and paint as often as you can. Do you admire and be inspired by somebody else's artwork? Find what it is that attracts you to it. Study and master more art techniques, thereby improving your own skills as an original artist. you find this video helpful in your daily art endeavors thank you so much for watching and if you like this video give it a big thumbs up and if you haven't already please subscribe and hit that bell for notifications for more art related content and go check out our instagram links will be in the description below i will see you in the next video and as always remember to follow, follow your art links in the description below <laughs> description below I yeah. give that like button oh. give that like button a like <laughs> okay deep breath focus the eye follow your eye check out the description below <laughs>